most common natural disaster in the United States. Many devastating recent floods have been saltwater floods caused by hurricanes or storms bringing ocean water on shore. Saltwater flood damage from Sandy affected more than 40 million families. 80% of the $43 billion of flood damage since 2005 has been caused by saltwater flooding. Traditional sand bags are heavy and leave gaps between individual bags. My name is Peyton Robertson and I've developed a new type of sand bag to reduce saltwater flood damage. But instead of using sand, I filled it with just the right amount of ultra absorbent polymer to make the bag fully expand. I also add enough salt to the bag to make the water inside have a higher salt content and therefore be heavier than the approaching seawater. Seawater, the non-colored water, is heavier than tap water, the blue water, because seawater has a salt content of 3.5%. I concluded that the bag should be pre-filled with enough salt to make the water inside the bags have a 10% salt content and thus be heavier than seawater. To calculate the exact amount of polymer to pre-fill the bags with, I calculated the exact swell rate of superabsorbent polymer when exposed to 10% salt water. After repeating the experiment multiple times, the swell rate was consistently 200%. Assuming a swell rate of 200%, I calculated how much polymer and salt to pre-fill the bags with. I used scotch fasteners to connect the individual bags at the midpoint of the bag in the row above it and below it. So as the polymer expands, it will fill in all empty spaces. To test my system, I created a prototype of my sandbag tested it against sandbags I bought at the store. In the test, the prototype held back salt water much more effectively than traditional sandbags. After the flood, let the water evaporate and store the bags. This new system is lighter, more effective, and more transportable. My hope is that this system will reduce flood damage in the future.